continue here with game number two. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The checkers get a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Moves it to Dykes. Takes a shot. Oh, hey. Scores! And they are on the board quickly in this one. Those guys are ready, James. I mean, the first five strides right from puck drop were urgent. And when you're aggressive and you're urgent on the puck, you find a way to put it in. I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Slip feed. Moscow's got it along the wall. Here he is from the slot. Oh, and it sinks. They score. And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, and they've been chopping out the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. He gets his shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Moscow's been the busier team offensively, and they lead early in this one. Nizhny Novgorod's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being... Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. And this is the expectation of the power play, and they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Well, well that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Deeds is going off for tripping. Another chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Trying to clear. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Nizhny Novgorod's won the draw. Deez is out of the box. His penalty has expired. A tremendous job. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Push through the second and try and put in a full 60 minutes. 
The tune-offs won the draw, and they'll look to set up. The coach and team reminding... He's got a little jump! Oh, what a defensive play! That opportunity is rejected. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, he stops him with the glove! Great reflexes there! Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low-slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Moscow's on fire tonight. They've now extended the lead to three here in the second. What I love about the puck possession, James, is they're doing something with it. They're not staying on the perimeter and just skating along the outside. They're sacrificing, they're driving the paint, and they're getting rewarded for their efforts. The checkers gain possession. Big time stop. Here's a chance. Denies him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. The checkers continue to show no signs of slowing down here tonight. Well, they keep filling the net, James. They fill it because they've got the puck on their sick. I mean, they've led Ozone possession time here, but they're doing something with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moscow's looking to break out of their own end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. The Checkers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Well, you can't do that find your way marching over to the box. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. They'll play some four on four. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that periods down and one more still to come third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice welcome back to ea sports the final frame of this one well this has been an absolute blowout to the first two periods as we get underway here in the third Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Nizhny Novgorod.
Well, it's generating a lot of offensive scoring chances here, James, but they can't seem to solve the goaltender. Listen, this is when you can't get frustrated. You have to stick with the game plan, continue to move the puck with motion, and drive the paint. Moscow's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Kamenev. Oh, and there's a great save by Huska. Good save. Quick reflexes. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Right in the low slot. To the front. And that goes off course off a body. Takes that pass back to the point. And there's the save. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Smart defensive play there. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The trickers will serve two minutes in the box. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. And the power play has not been good tonight, but it's not about what happened or what's going to happen. It is about right now and finding a way to create some momentum on this one. Nizhny Novgorod's got a hold of it against the wall. Makes the save. Handles the puck at the point. Makes the save with the puck. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Every once in a while, you just have this kind of night and you just don't have it, and shift after shift, nothing goes right. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Good night.